All right, so I have gotten a lot of requests to review this show, and I understand why, because it's awesome. Dexter. Funny, whenever I talk about the show and I say Dexter, people are always like, oh yeah, I know, him in his laboratory. No, not cartoon Dexter. I mean, serial killer Dexter. So Dexter is a show on Showtime that's about pretty much a serial killer. All right, so story goes about 30 something years ago, Officer Harry Morgan arrived on a crime scene. He found a two year old kid and the kid had seen some pretty messed up shit, but the officer adopts the kid anyway. And then the kid starts being about, you know, six, eight, 10, 12. And Officer Harry Morgan notices that his adopted kid does weird things like, you know, kill the neighbor's dog and kill rodents. And then he recognizes the kid's gonna be a serial killer. There's no way around it. And so he teaches him. He's like, all right, I will teach you how to kill people and get away with it to keep you out of the electric chair. And I'll teach you a code to live by, AKA you only kill serial killers. So now Dexter's 37 years old. He's all grown up and he's learned to blend in with society and he kills killers in a weird ritualistic freaky serial killer kind of way, which is why he kills people because he needs to kill people. He wants to kill people. He's a serial killer. He doesn't kill people to be the dark defender or anything like that. And so now you have an interesting premise for a show. And I've had some friends who are like freshmen in college who were taking Psych 101, they're like, serial killers don't work like that. This just wouldn't be how it works. That'll be a buzzkill. Enjoy the show. Now, Dexter just finished its fifth season, so there's a lot to talk about. I could really review every season. For the sake of time, I'll give you a general overview of the show and what you can expect when you watch it, because you should. What I like about Dexter is Dexter is a free individual. We all have emotions and things happen. We have an emotional response to things. But ever think to yourself, like, that would be so awesome if I didn't have an emotional response to things. Like, I only thought with my brain. That's Dexter Morgan. Like, he was at a restaurant with his girlfriend. He has his girlfriend who's pretty much like camouflage to him. She starts growing on him after time and you know he sees her as more than just camouflage but in season one she is camouflage. He has to date this chick to blend in because he knows that cops look for single 30 year old guys who live on their own. And so he's looking around at this restaurant and he's just like I just don't get these little mating rituals that people have. And the show is actually really funny too in a really dark kind of way. It's not a comedy. Whenever I explain the show to people they're like is it a comedy or a drama? It is a drama that has comedic moments in it which I think dramas have a leg up on comedy because comedies people expect them to be funny because they're comedies. If you have a drama that has really dark, funny moments, people don't expect that shit. And it turns out to be a little funnier. One of the funny aspects of the show is that you can hear Dexter Morgan's inner monologue. You can hear what he's thinking. And then he says the exact opposite of what he's thinking. You know, because he has to say what normal people would say. He can't say what he thinks. Otherwise, people wouldn't know he's a serial killer. Like, there's this one scene. They're at a crime scene. It's like a Friday night. And his friend Angel, he's a cop on there. He's one of the supporting characters. He's like, you know, what asshole kills someone and makes us work on a Friday night? Dexter nonchalantly just goes, only Monday through Thursdays. That's what I always say. The guy has no idea that Dexter's being completely serious about that. He only kills people on Monday through Thursdays, I guess. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Dexter's job. That's important. Dexter Morgan works as a blood spatter expert for the Miami Metro PD. He's this lab geek. No one suspects him of being a serial killer, except for a couple people. There have been a couple people who were like, eh, there's just something not right about that guy. And also what I like is that the seasons are really different. Season four, my favorite. John Lithgow plays a killer in season four. Holy shit. There are about three people I can say that I've seen in entertainment and I'm like, I actually believe that guy is crazy. It's a lotion from the back Basket Guy in Silence of the Lambs, that's one. Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight, that's two. And John Lithgow in season four of Dexter. The three craziest human beings I've seen in a movie or a show. And the supporting characters in Dexter, they're great too. My favorite side character has got to be Vince Masuka. For some odd reason, he says the funniest things in the show. He's just a really sick little bastard and I like him. And his sister Deborah. His sister Deborah's like the deepest of the characters. You see her grow over time. In season one, she's a little more insecure, a little more not sure of herself. But in all the seasons, she's just really foul mouthed crass chick. I like her. So I like I like the show Dexter and I like the main character Dexter. Michael C. Hall won a Golden Globe for his portrayal of Dexter Morgan and he absolutely deserved it. It was like three years coming by the time he got it. So can you relate to and like a show about a serial killer? Yeah, probably. Because it's awesome. And it has my stamp of approval. It is one of my top like two favorite shows on TV. But if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.